A symbolic image at the European spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. As the president of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, French President Emmanuel Macron and the Director General of the European Space Agency, Johann Dietrich Vorne, stand in front of the Ariane 5 launcher, which will soon carry four more Galileo satellites into space. This launch will expand the Galileo constellation from 18 to 22 satellites. And it's the second time four satellites will be launched with an Ariane 5. As with all other Galileo satellites, these newest additions will fly in a medium-Earth orbit some 22,000 kilometers above the surface. This is the penultimate launch before completion of the Galileo constellation. The completion of the constellation uh, will take place uh, in the summer of uh, 2018, where we launched the last Ariane 5 with four satellites, which will bring the total up to uh, 26 satellites. So we have at that moment two satellites in reserve, and um, we will then, uh, after that, start uh, putting some extra reserves in space in order to be prepared just in case. Although the constellation is not yet complete, it's been in operation for almost a year since the European Commission announced initial services on the 15th of December 2016. These services were the first step towards full operational capability and a first opportunity for the Galileo system to prove its worth. Independent measurements since have shown that in terms of performance, Galileo is the best operating positioning system in the world. We are having a better performance than our three competitors from the US, which is the well-known GPS system, the Russian GLONASS system and the Chinese Baidu system. So of course in ESA we are excessively proud of this and uh, it is now important that we keep building on this performance and uh, hopefully keep at the forefront of the developments. However, the work on Galileo is far from over. The European Commission and ESA are already working on the next generation of Galileo satellites and infrastructure. They aim to continuously improve the system and explore the boundaries of technological possibilities while trying to meet market demand with potential new applications or services. A number of areas, for example, which are coming is uh, the so-called Internet of Things, uh, which will require uh, positioning in sensors. And uh, these sensors have, uh, have uh, very little power and uh, very little battery capacity, so we need special signals for that, probably. And uh, in addition, another area which is of interest is autonomous driving, where satellite navigation is going to be a very important component, but where it needs to be integrated with uh, all sorts of other sensors in cars in order to make sure that autonomous driving becomes a reality. With more launches to complete the constellation and set up redundancies, Galileo's performance and availability worldwide will continue to gradually improve keeping Galileo at the cutting edge of satellite positioning technology. Today, the only publicly owned satellite navigation system has also proven to be the best. <laughs> <laughs>